Hey guys, it's Ebony Warrior Studios here, and today I'm going to be showing you all how I go about painting and weathering a um, one of my prop helmets. This is just an example for you. This is the uh, Gears of War helmet I did about a year ago, and I'm going to be showing you using pretty much the same exact techniques um, how I get the uh, the cool weathering and um, scarring effects that I always do on my armors. It's pretty much the same thing that I did on Cosplay Melee. So um, let's go ahead and get right into it, okay? Now, you see that I am putting on this black on top of the yellow. I've already prepped the helmet, gotten it plasti dipped, and um, put the base layer of yellow. I didn't want to put you all through that because it takes about 24 hours for the enamel um, base coat of yellow to dry, so that's a boring part. So um, I'm putting this black base layer on because I want everything underneath, or um, everything that I put on top of it, to not uh, show the yellow underneath. Uh, when you put lighter colors on lighter colors, they tend to uh, show through. So you want to make sure that that black is covering um, all those areas where you want to put the silver. So that way it doesn't, the yellow doesn't show through. It, it allows you um, to get a lot more work done. Um, you don't have, a, have to do as much work to um, get your final product. So now let's jump into getting into the, um, the lighter colors and then we'll move on to the detailing, my favorite part. Now, I didn't say it before, but the uh, black that I use is just a regular black acrylic that you can find at like Walmart or, or Target. Now the silver, um, all the other colors I'm gonna be using are like uh, our Citadel and Viejo paints. This is a Viejo airbrush silver that I'm using right now. And the reason I use those is because the coverage on them is absolutely fantastic. You will get a, um, you can paint an entire armor with one little pot of the uh, Viejo silver or any color really. Um, so that's why I use those paints. Now you don't, you want to be very careful when applying this. You don't want to get it over on your yellow or whatever color your base layer is. Um, just be very, very careful, careful with a steady hand. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we have all the silver layers on, and that's perfect. This is the way, exact way we want it. It still looks a little bit rough, but um, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, because now, now what we're going to do is we're going to weather it. Now I'm gonna use black liquid shoe polish, Kiwi liquid shoe polish, and that's going to allow me to basically uh, black wash the entire helmet. Black washing is kind of like, um, you're giving the helmet breathing life into the helmet. You want it to look used. You want it to look uh, weathered and worn. So that's what black washing is. Let's go ahead and jump right into that. Okay, so now we're going to apply our weathering. It is going to add a whole lot more depth to your armor. It gets down in the creases and the crevices and it really, really brings out the piece. It um, gives it a shadowing and uh, a grunge makes it look, um, you know, lived in, and that that's what we really want with Bumblebee. So um, the reason I'm using black is because I want him to, you know, look like a car. So it's like a, a an oily, uh, dirty um, Camaro. Uh, so that's why I'm using black. You can use all sorts of different colors to get the desired effect that you want. If you're wanting to do a dirt, you can use a browns and um, go ahead and mix it up a little bit, and you can get. Um, you know, a different weathering effects on your final piece. Um, now, uh, if you're doing a rust, obviously you can use rust colors and um, there's different techniques. I'm gonna show you all different ways that I get different weathering effects in different videos for different cosplays. And so um, the cool thing I like about this uh, liquid shoe polish is that it leaves a nice sheen behind when you wipe it up. So you're just gonna apply it, rub it on, and then you're gonna rub it off with a towel or a paper towel. And um, it, it's absolutely fantastic. It helps protect the paint as well. Awesome, we got the black wash in it. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, the helmet looks way more worn 
and it looks lived in, but it's not done yet. It still looks very, very rough. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna add our final details. Um, I'm gonna do go ahead and do the blue um, that is around Bumblebee's eyes. That's going to help accent the electronics that go in there. And I'm also going to start, um, after that, I'm gonna start with the uh, um, highlighting with the silvers. And I'm gonna show you all how I go about doing that. Now this is the really, really fun part. Um, I know I've had a quite, quite a few people ask me how I get those gouges and cuts in my armor. Now I love to wait until after everything's painted and I go in with a hot knife to um, cut those details in. It's uh, the reason I wait until after uh, it's painted is because it, it really melts the paint and it looks natural like a, a cut or a, um, a, a bruised um, metal when you go in there and you do it and it looks even cooler when you do a base layer of silver underneath your main color because it shows through and it actually looks like weathered metal so um, you don't want to go you don't you do not want to overdo it you want to do it very strategically where you would see these sort of things you know like on a transformer just be very uh, very light with it don't overdo it Now I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing here, just wanted to show you I'm putting on the Citadel blue paint around Bumblebee's eyes to accent the electronics that are going to go into his head um, for his eyes. They're going to be blue and I want the, uh, the blue around his eyes to accent that to really, really make them pop. So um, again, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing, just wanted to show you that um, me applying that blue to the helmet. Now this final step is very, very important. I'm applying the highlight silver and this adds so much more depth to your piece so it's basically like if you were to see a car or anything metal that has multiple layers of paint on it you'll see paint that's chipped off and most of the time or sometimes you'll see like a silver base coat underneath so that's basically what's going on here the silver highlighting really um, makes the piece look like it's been worn and weathered and you see that base silver coming through now obviously just like with your um hot knife gouging you want to be very st strategic with it and um make it look real and weathered you don't want to overdo it because i've seen so many cosplays where people over weather and it just looks cartoony unless that's what you want um, it, it just it looks very overdone um, so you want to be very sparing moderate weathering is good weathering overdoing it it's really going to show so you want to make sure I'm gonna reiterate that over and over again you just want to make sure when you're weathering that it looks natural so that way it doesn't look overdone uh, it can almost if you over highlight with your silvers it can look like from a distance it can look like you have um, silver paint um, just splayed all over your piece so you don't want that you want it to look like you uh, like this has been lived in like it's it's real like that's actual metal and it's been scraped up And there it is, guys. We did it. We painted Bumblebee's head. I love the way this came out. The weathering and the aging just looks fantastic on it. And the, I, I put the electronics in the eyes just to show you guys the final product. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. And um, I'm, I'm so glad I was able to show you all how to go about doing that. So if you all have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment or shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram at Ebony Warrior Studios, um, <laughs> both of them, Facebook and Instagram. And thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. As always, this is Ebony Warrior Studios with blinding speed, master quality, untold savagery.